Hey, what's up? It's TJ Moses the Linus, and I'm here at the Everything Flavor Mag photo shoot. Um, you want to know what has taken so long? Nine years. I started out 2004, put out an album. Uh, it did well critically, and over time, it has definitely stood out as a you know a staple album in a lot of people's you know music library, but. The, the label didn't really take to it. Um, the America didn't really take to it like they wanted them to take to it initially. Now it's, it's crossed over a little. Um, I began to write for other artists. I got really busy writing for other artists and I started to focus on writing for other artists because the money started to come in. Then I started to think about, oh, I want to do my own album. By that time, TVT, the label I was with, went bankrupt. Um, after TVT went bankrupt around 2009, somewhere around that time, um, I kind of just fell back and started to realize that people wanted me to do shows, so I started doing shows. Doing shows, not really concentrating on doing an album. Finally, when I got around to saying, oh, I want to do an album, uh, there was no label, there was, you know, I had, it had been a while since I put out an album, so the business side of things kind of just got mixed up. And my attention span really wasn't on it at a certain point. Now I'm back focused on myself. When you write for others, you shave a lot of yourself off, you know, and now I'm back focused on myself. Hi, I'm Darren Scott. I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist. I'm on set with Flavor Mag, and today we've just shot with TJ Moses. The whole shoot so far is leaning towards vintage glamour. The first look I went for, very soft, pretty, commercial. Um, she's wearing quite muted tones, so I just wanted to keep everything quite natural. Um, the second look, we kept it still quite natural, but added a pop of colour and went for really bright red lips. Um, there's no official signing to Maybach Music. It's an affiliation. It's affiliation. You'll hear me on their records. You know, it's no official signing. Um, it came about because Rick Ross, he lives in Miami as well. I lived in my, I had been living there maybe about a year, maybe uh, six, seven months when he contacted me. He followed me on on um, on Twitter and he hit me on DM and he was like, "Hey, holla at me. I want to." you know, check out your music or whatever. I'm a fan or something like that. So it was cool, because I, I, Rick Ross was an album that I listened to right before I was moving to Miami a lot. And I was going through some different things and, you know, so it was really cool. And um, went over to his house, Meek was there, Wale was there, and he was just trying to build this empire. And I just was like really um, impressed with the energy he had at that moment of like just building something. So I just, you know, got down with them because I thought it was, was cool and they were all about hard work and good music and trying to make some money. And that's all, that's what I'm about. <laughs> Right now we're releasing an EP in May, and we're releasing that straight um, independent and with uh, you know digital and distribution or whatever. But um, I'm speaking with another label at the moment that I want to release my actual album with, um, hopefully in September. The album is called The Linus, Lover, Believer, Dreamer, Thinker. And um, it is basically those things I just spoke of. No person is one dimensional or you're just really not interesting. You know, most people are more than one dimension and you know, I try to deal with all those different dimensions on the album. Hopefully it's coming in September, that's my goal. I'm Aaron Dunworth, I was a photographer on set today for Flavor Mag. Uh, we were shooting Tidra today and she's done incredibly well, she took direction really well. Used a dark blue backdrop as you can see up behind me, put some highlights behind her. Nice to work with an artist who kind of knows what she's about and she kind of realised that I also listen to her music. And yeah, we had a great team, um, Darren Scott did the makeup, Dion Smith worked on hair, Anika Allen put it all together and yeah, really amazing results. Hey, it's TJ Moses the Lioness, and I am trying out this new songwriter app. It's called Songwriter's Pad, and I'm going to start now. Let's see. Okay, 
first thing I need to do is pick an idea. Pick a word. I think I'm going to go with desire. And let's see. I'm going to try cravings. Add to the word section. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to try fear. And oh, I don't want fear. I'm going to go away from fear. That doesn't sound cool. Let's try hope and wished for. We're gonna to go to phrases and I'm gonna try hope for the best and add to phrases. Let's try happy and ha, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> That's a good one. Add to phrases. Let's see we got rhymes and first word I'm gonna start with is adore. Um, core. I'm gonna rhyme core, and then I'm gonna try um, a door. Let me see. Adore. I'm gonna try fire. Search for a word that rhymes. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Oh, I don't want to be predictable, but I'm gonna go with higher. All right, now I have enough stuff here. I'm done. And I think I'm supposed to make a song now. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I have for words, I have craving and wish to war. For phrases, I have hope for the best, enjoy it while it lasts. Um, and the rhymes are core and Adoring core, fire and higher. This is challenging. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I have cravings. It's you I wish for. It's you that I adore down in my core. I feel fire. You take me higher. Hope for the best, make it last, enjoy it while it is. I don't know, that's all I got. <laughs> well, now you want my review, right? Great app for people that don't do this for a living. <laughs>